Hi everyone, my name is Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you 10 pieces of clothing that you need in your workwear wardrobe so that you can get at least 10 outfits out of it. Um, I'm not going to include the shoes and the bag in the item count, but I think it would be fine. So the first essential in my workwear wardrobe is a fun jacket. So I don't want this 10 items to be the same for everyone because it really depends on your lifestyle and the type of work you do. So a fun jacket could be like a non-blazer item. So it could be a denim jacket, it could be a leather jacket, it could be a wool jacket like this one because the office is always cold. This is something you would wear when it's casual Friday at work or there's nothing going on, you have no meetings or... It's just going to be an easy day of work. Our second and third item here on this rack are two blazers. One is single breasted and one is double breasted. Both are like oversized because that's just how I like my blazers. So the key thing here is finding the right fit for you and like finding the right cut. For me, when buying blazers, I always have to try them on in the store because sometimes blazers are like they look good on the hanger, but they don't. if they don't fit right, it's not going to look good. So you always have to try them on and buy them in store. Both of these are from Eritrea. Yeah. The third item in our rack is the straight cut denim jeans. I thrifted this a while ago in the boys section. Everyone gets tired of wearing a trouser, so... Whenever I don't feel like wearing a trouser, I wear denim jeans. And usually, I don't wear skinny jeans as much anymore because it's so tight and uncomfortable. So now I have fully switched to straight leg jeans for sure. So bomb because they're so nice and loose. The next item is a jogger pant in black. A lot of people are gonna say that, oh, I can't wear that to work, but it, again, it depends on where you work. It depends on the environment of where you work. If it's a more casual environment, then you can definitely just rock your sweatpants at work. You just have to pair them with the right things. This one's from Nike. I think everyone needs a pair of trousers in their lives. It can be a fun color. It can be a neutral. It doesn't matter. Like what I said over and over again, it depends on your personality. You have to look into yourself, do some introspection, see if you like something or not. Don't just follow what people are saying because I say you need to get a gray and black trouser. You have to think about it. Because if you're not going to wear it, there's no point. You actually have to buy things that make you feel beautiful and comfortable. Two white shirts. One is just a simple white t-shirt and this one is from The Gap. And this one is a button-down t-shirt from H&M got these a while ago so they're so like what I said in my previous videos I love white tops they're so easy to pair they go with everything you can dress them up you can dress them down problem solved the last thing in my rack is a black turtleneck I don't wear it right now because it's a bit hot but during the winter time I live in turtlenecks this one is from Uniqlo. Turtlenecks make you look like Steve Jobs in a good way. You just have to pair it with the right things. Yeah. But then, if you don't want to wear a turtleneck, you can just easily substitute it for like another t-shirt, a black t-shirt, a black camisole, a black something else. Just note that every single outfit will be paired with my white sneakers because I usually, these are the only things I wear anyway. Plus, I want this to be a very basic, <laughs> essential outfit video where people can actually, like this would be the brick and mortar of your work wardrobe, so it has to be very simple. So you can do a white sneaker, you can do a black loafer, you can do any of those, just as long as they're classics. And then I'm also going to be pairing everything with my white toad from opening ceremony, ceremony, opening ceremony, they just bring it to my work, so. 
this is the first outfit. This is more for people who are more casual in their workwear. So a white t-shirt, pair of trousers, the gray ones, and my white sneakers, and then my white bag. Now for outfit number two, we can see how quickly an outfit can transform using outerwear. So I'm wearing my jacket my from Aritzia. My, the same t-shirt, the same trousers, white sneakers, same tone. I have a rule for oversized outerwear. Usually if I'm wearing oversized outerwear, oversized outerwear I wear like a fitted um, t-shirt inside or a crop top. But I don't think crop tops are allowed at work, which I did this morning, but that's okay. Yeah. So always juxtapose. Tweak it with the... Tweak these outfits with the rules of your workplace in mind. So if you work in a more corporate environment, if they don't allow sneakers, then switch it out for loafers or something like that. So for my next outfit, I took off my white t-shirt and replaced it with a white button down with the same trousers, same sneakers, same bag, and that was a different look. You can button it up depending on your workplace or like let it hang. That's a bit too low, but you know, you get what I mean? And then you can also wear it with your fun jacket. It could be a denim jacket, it could be your leather jacket. Put it on top. That's gonna be another outfit. For the next outfit, I just buttoned the white button-up shirt all the way up and then I switched the trousers out for black trousers. And then, yeah. Next outfit, I just wore the previous outfit with a blazer. I usually like to pair like darker, darker trousers with something that's darker. So this is a plaid jacket and I think it looks pretty good. The next outfit is I pair that black trousers with my black turtleneck. It looks like I'm Steve Jobs. It looks sleek. It's so casual but also dressed up at the same time. You know? Now pair it with the fun jacket that you have and now it looks like even better. Do you see that? It looks... I look like I'm a boss. This time I have paired the turtleneck with straight leg jeans. I usually wear this when I don't feel like dressing up at work. It looks pretty put together. So easy to wear. Yeah. Now I'm just wearing the same turtleneck, same jeans, same everything else, but I just put a blazer on top. So the key thing to remember here is like paying attention to what you think fits you best and actually buying stuff that fits you. Don't settle for anything less, even when it's expensive. As long as you wear it a lot of times, it's going to be okay. The cost per wear for anything, if you wear it a lot, is going to go down. So it doesn't matter. Put your fun jacket on top. And now, look put together. You can wear sweatpants. The technique is, you know, dressing it up. Know how to dress things up and dress things down. You can maximize your wardrobe that way. Casual day at work, wear the turtleneck with sweatpants and then wear your fun jacket on top. 
Another outfit. Okay, I feel like I have exhausted every single possibility. There could be more, but the thing is, I'm running out of sunlight and it's starting to get dark here, so I'm gonna call it a day. I hope you enjoy this video. Tune in, comment down below of what you want to see more in this channel. I'd be happy to give you more fashion content because that's what I love. That's what I'm here for. I hope everyone has a good day.